Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Traveling and Learning. This is the technical part of my channel. This uh, portion contains tutorials and documentaries on statistics and research. In this video, I will explain what is Central Limit Theorem. The Central Limit Theorem states that the distribution of a sample mean approximate a normal distribution as the sample size gets larger, regardless of the population's distribution. The Central Limit Theorem states that the sampling distribution of the sample means approaches a normal distribution as the sample size gets larger, no matter what the sample population distribution shape is. Graphically, it looks like a bell shape. If we do one of the simplest type of test that is rolling a fair die, the more time we roll the die, the more likely the shape of distribution of the mean tends to look like a normal distribution graph or bell shape, as you can see here. The more we, the more the time we uh, die, the So, for example, the distribution of uh, heights of all 20 years old people in a country. It is almost impossible and, and of course, not practical to collect this data. So, we take samples of uh, 20 years old people across the country and calculate average height of the people in the samples. According to the central limit theorem, as we take more samples from the population, the sample distribution will get close to the normal distribution. So let's talk about the key component of the central limit theorem. The central limit theorem is comprised of several key characteristics. These characteristics largely revolve around the sample, sample size, and the population of the data. The first characteristic is sampling is successive. This means that Sampling units are common with the sample units selected on previous occasion. Sampling is random. All samples must be selected at random so that they have the same statistical possibility of being selected. Sample should be independent. The third one, key characteristics. The selection or the result from one sample should have no bearing on the future sample or other sample result. Sample should be limit. It is often cited that the sample should be no more than 10% of our population. If the sample is done without replacement, in general, large population sizes warrant the use of large sample sizes. The last one, sample size is increasing. The central limit theorem is relevant as more samples are selected. 